Hey guys, King Cage here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be seeing how far we can travel with the brand new ATV on a dusty trip. Let's get right into this. So, as y'all can already tell just by looking at this ATV right here, there are many downsides, such as it has barely any space to attach things to it, and also there are no doors, meaning that at the 10,000 meter mark, we are going to take massive fire. But anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into a match and see how far we can travel with the ATV. We're now in a match, so let's go ahead and hop out here. So we don't even need any of this other stuff. So we're only going to be using the things with the ATV. So that means all the other stuff from the cars and like the regular car, we aren't going to be using any of it. Just the stuff that's in this little spot right here. Also for the ATV, you currently can't upgrade the engine. So the engine that you spawn with, which is this one right here, this radiator and engine, we can't get any upgraded ones. So that is a big downside of doing this. It also only holds 30 liters of gas, which isn't that bad. It doesn't use too much gas, but it is only half as much as the regular cars well anyway we now went ahead and filled it up so let's go ahead and start driving so let's go ahead and turn it on and here we go and before we see how far we can get on the atv i just want to say please make sure to smash that subscribe button we just reached 70,000 subscribers yesterday so thank y'all for that but we are over halfway there to 100,000. so please make sure to smash that subscribe button and let's get right back into the video also if y'all don't know the turn radius on this is terrible so if we turn and oh we like slipped right there i was turning off the road but it was kind of slippery but yeah look at this turn radius that is absolutely terrible so if you like hit something and we're facing that way it's gonna take us like a whole 30 seconds to go ahead and turn around and also once again since this is the atv there are no upgrades for the engine or radiator meaning that this speed right here is the fastest we're gonna be going throughout this entire trip which is very slow but it's gonna be even slower up here whenever we start going up very steep hills also since we don't have a roof that means oh snap and we already got struck by lightning i'm surprised that the atv got struck by lightning and not us but anyway, let's just hope that we don't die. And it looks like we already lost a wheel. I went ahead and looked all around and I can't find it. I found this wheel all the way over there. So I don't even know where this other one went. But as you can see, it is upright. So maybe we can still ride it. I'm really hoping we can. And it looks like we can actually ride it pretty much perfectly. So, oh, well, that's a little strange. Well, almost perfectly. Also, another downside for this is that you can't push it. So we can't push it like our regular car. So as you can see, I'm clicking F and we can't push it over. So that means if we get stuck, we're just like permanently stuck. Well, anyway, we can take this off, put it back on, and then I guess we could drive for a little bit longer. So I guess whenever we drive like this, as long as we turn left, we should be fine. Like we keep moving left like this, so then we're just balancing on this one wheel. And we just need to keep driving until we find a place that has a wheel for us. We now went ahead and found a building, and dang, we just fell over again. Well, anyway, hopefully this building has a tire. And so far, it doesn't look like it does. And as I was saying, this does have many downsides, including the fact that it doesn't have one of those brakes meaning that if we were to have all wheels on it it would just start to roll away from us right now but luckily it can't do that well there is a better radiator sadly we can't use it let's go ahead and avoid this dude let's go ahead and hop in here and yes there is a tire awesome so let's go ahead and grab this let's also grab this i'll see what it is later just avoid that dude and anyway let's go ahead and grab this wheel we now have the water attached to the back so let's go ahead and hop on it let's go ahead and keep driving so i believe we do still have tons of oil so we don't need to worry about oil for a while so i think we're good to drive all the way to 5,000 meters. So I went ahead and stopped at this gas station for some food and I was trying to attach my chocolate bar to it and now it's just rolling away and I can't even catch up to it even by sprinting. So now it's just running away from us and hopefully it hits that piece of land and never mind there's nothing. So there's absolutely nothing to stop it right now. So we just have to go ahead and chase it and we've been going uphill like a slight slam. So I think it's pretty much just gonna roll all the way back down to like zero meters. Well luckily it looks like it did stop which is good. But yeah that is one of the downsides of stopping anywhere with this. Also it looks like it's pretty difficult to attach things because I was just trying to attach this chocolate bar to it and it would not attach but anyway now that we have enough hunger we need to go ahead and drive all the way to 5,000 meters we now made it to 5,000 meters so let's go ahead and stop up here and hopefully our car doesn't roll away this time so let's go ahead and stop right here thing is completely flat let's just go ahead and stop to make sure and know we are rolling away so i think what we need to do is we need to put it at a little slant so i think just like this should be good because it can't really roll anywhere like this well anyway we have these gas cans right here so let's go ahead and fill it up i don't think it used too 
too much gas and okay use more than i thought it would but it still didn't really use that much it only uses like one liter per thousand meters so i think that's pretty good so that means we should easily be able to make it to like twenty five thousand meters just with this new gas right here anyway let's go ahead and keep driving now so this turn radius is absolutely terrible so hopefully we can easily get across this bridge not too sure this seems very hard to get across with the atv but we might as well try it so let's go ahead and align our wheels pretty glad that we were able to get across that part but i'm not too sure about the jump not gonna lie like let's go ahead and get over this and now let's go ahead and speed up and we are going extremely slow like this is as fast as we can go and we're still going very slow so i don't think we can make this jump and oh snap all right we actually were able to make it very surprising let's go and watch out for this dude <laughs> just stuck in the ground shooting at us right now but yeah i'm actually super surprised we were able to make that jump right there because we were going insanely slow but anyway now let's just go ahead and keep driving until 10,000 meters there we're now at 10,000 meters and i did have to remove all the stuff because it like stopped our car from moving and i don't know why also by the way we aren't able to go around it because there's actually invisible barriers that don't allow us to go around so we just gotta go ahead and speed through this so let's try to go as fast as possible because i tried this before and they absolutely laser you even with times three health i'm pretty sure they absolutely demolish you which actually we didn't take too much damage right there which is actually super surprising like they didn't even do like a fourth of our health so let's just go ahead and keep driving through this and yeah we actually got through that a lot easier than i thought i only drove through here one other time and the last time i drove through here they absolutely like demolished me so i'm actually super surprised that we got that and all right almost got stuck right there on the rock but yeah that was actually a lot easier than i thought not gonna lie when it was keep driving we do need to stop by one of these buildings up here because we are gonna die from hunger we now found a building so hopefully this does have food and what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and park just like this just so our car doesn't go ahead and roll away and now hopefully it does have food which it does look like it has a chocolate bar which is good so let's go ahead and quickly grab this and let's run around and i think that's actually all it had well that kind of sinks it does have a gun but that gun is gonna be pretty much useless to us which it looks like there is actually a secret something up here and oh snap i didn't even know about this and all right let's go and grab this other stuff yeah i didn't even know about this spot i just saw that it was like cracked open while coming up here and yeah that's actually pretty cool and it does have some gas we don't really need it but anyway let's just keep driving and hopefully we find some more food we now made it to 15,000 meters and it actually only took like 45 minutes there is one problem though which there is a massive tornado blocking the entrance to it so hopefully we can go around we're gonna drive this way but right once we drive over here it's probably gonna follow us and all right luckily we were able to get around i thought it was a lot closer to the entrance not gonna lie but anyway now that we're at 15,000 meters we can go ahead and fuel up there's not really too much that we need to do just like restock on gas so we probably don't need too much anyway let's check and yeah so we'll go ahead and refill on water that actually lasted us quite a bit still 12.4 liters of oil that's actually quite a bit so this is probably the last time that we need to restock on oil if we can even reach it though we know what had and completely fueled up and i went ahead and attached two water canisters to the back so now we should be good and i think the car actually is stuck nope there we go but anyway now that we passed this mark let's go ahead and drive all the way to the 20,000 meter mark also by the way it doesn't feel like we're going that slow up hills like we're going up a very steep hill right now and we're actually not going that slow we're not going like as fast as if we were to have a va engine but we're actually not going like extremely slow like if we were in the regular car so that's actually pretty nice we now made it to the 20,000 meter mark and what we have to do is pretty much we're just guaranteed to die so what we're gonna do it is a slant so our car should actually move towards this place so we're gonna run up there and we will attempt to kill him if we find any guns but other than that we're just gonna die because if we die and dang it actually got really dark i thought they went ahead and removed this well it's been like 10 seconds and it's already daytime once again and here is the giant horde so there's absolutely no way we can kill them solo i tried killing all of them duo and that did not work so the only hope and hope we already died i was gonna try to look for dynamite but anyway if we die and then use one of our free revives they will all actually despawn so let's use one of our free revives and then we should go ahead and spawn near our atv if we don't fall into the void and here's our atv right here for some reason this is open let's go ahead and close that but as you can see all the people went ahead and despawned so now we can go ahead and drive through here also by the way anyone can do that because you do get a free revive every day well now we can also go ahead and refuel i'll just go ahead and finish off the tank just so we don't run out too early and now pretty much all we have to do is go ahead and keep driving also by the way if any of the developers are watching please don't fix that bug right there because there's absolutely no way that you can defeat the ghost town solo because the enemies are just way too strong and there's way too many of them we now made it past 400,000 meters which is pretty good i did stop a few times to just stack up on water again because we did run out of water so i went ahead and put it all in and then stacked up on more and also stacked up on some more gas as well
well, which actually looks like we just found another car trouble event, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully, that dude does not destroy my water cans, and <laughs> alright, that's pretty good. But anyway, we're currently at 40,000 meters, and we are going pretty slow. Like, a VA engine would be pretty nice, but although we are going pretty slow, going up hills is extremely easy, and we just keep going at the same pace, like we're going downhill, and we're going like no faster than if we were going uphill, so I think the ATV just goes at the same pace no matter what. But anyway, let's just keep going, and hopefully we don't get any glitches, where it starts putting us in the negatives. We're now approaching 50,000 meters, and it actually took quite a while to get here. Also, we're going extremely slow, because look at how steep this hill is. It's kind of hard to see, and dang, this dude is chasing us pretty far. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a very steep hill. And alright, it's starting to become less steep, and dang, that dude chased us very far. He was all the way at the store over there. Yeah, very steep, so we are going a little bit slow. Hopefully, it starts going downhill, so we are able to go a little bit faster. We already made it a lot farther than I thought we would. So, so far, we're doing pretty good. It looks like only in a few moments after hitting 55,000 meters, we did sadly disconnect. So that does kind of sink, but it was starting to take quite a while. So that did only take us around like two hours, like two to two and a half hours to reach 55,000 meters, which many of y'all think that might be good. But I mean, it only took me half the time to reach 55,000 meters by using the van. So the van is much better. The ATV is not as bad as I thought, but it does start to get very boring with the ATV because you can't really attach anything to it and currently you can't replace the radiator or engine maybe in the next update they might add upgrades to it but right now it's very boring to use and it did take quite a while but anyway that's gonna go ahead and be all for this video though once again i did go ahead and release the ugc which is actually on my shoulder right here so if you want to go ahead and check this out the link will be in the description but anyway that's gonna be all for this video though so make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you all in the next video